Ecclesiastes 3, I believe. Time of war, time of peace. I'm going to just have you breeze through it, kind of, because I don't want to, you know. Cause I, then after that, we're going to get Isaiah 13. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. To everything there's a season. And to every time, uh, and a time to every purpose under the sun. Yeah, to everything there's a season, and a time to purpose of everything under the sun. Like, at a point of time, <clears throat> you didn't have <clears throat> prophets. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm going to take it way back, all right? At a point of time, you had Negroes in, in slavery, man. All right? Had Negroes, Latinos, and Natives in slavery, all right? At a point of time... We were no, we were free from slavery, quote unquote. We were emancipated, all right. At a point of time, we learned to read. At a point of time, we uh, supposedly are treated equal, all right. At a point of time, this word came to our people, man. Do you how about Shem Yahweh Shai, all right? At a point of time, we, man, this brother and the other brothers in the camp and whoever else didn't have this knowledge, man, all right. But there's, it's a time for everything, man. All right? It ain't like, you know, we, we, it's been, this word been here, what, since for about 40, what, about 40, 40 years. about 40, you know what I'm saying, 40 to 50 years, you know? And people who been knew about it, they probably like, y'all been talking about that, man. But, hey, um, Noah was out there for about 150 years, I believe. 200? Uh, 200 years? I believe I believe it was 200 years. Okay. Yeah. But it was it was it was decades, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it ain't like the he came out there and said, "Hey, more than a century." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it ain't like he said, "Hey, it's going to rain and then it rained 2 days later." No, nah, man. Hey, for all part of this is part of faith, man. It's all of this is part of faith. It's just like in football. All right? You get 17 games. What you gonna do with it? 16 games, my bad, yeah. You get 16 games, what are you gonna do with it, man? All right? That whole time, you got your you got your chance to prove your worth, man. All right? Who you are, that's how this is. We, the Lord is gonna come back on his own time. This time right, that we're in right now is to, for us to be tested, man. All right, to prove ourselves, to give diligence that our calling of the election be sure, man. All right? It ain't like, Cause I, I thought that, but I, I'm like, ooh, I came in the truth at the right time, you know. I, I'm watching the stock market every day, you know what I'm saying. I first heard of, heard of all of this in like '08, you know, and I thought it was about to pop off. It looked, and that was like right during the time of the recession and all of that. I'm like, oh yeah, the economy about to crash, you know what I'm saying. But hey, look, it's what like seven years later, man, and and, and the word is still here, you know what I'm saying. Babies are still being born. Dollars is still being spent, you know what I'm saying? Days of Noah. Yep, as in the days of Noah, man. You know what I'm saying? So that that's what it is. But what can I do about that? I can only read the word, man. I can only do what the prophets did before me. All right. Hasten the day. <laughs> Hasten the day. Though it tarry, wait for it. Wait upon the Lord. Like that's it. That's all we can do. You know that America's gonna be destroyed. Why give up, man? Why give up? You know what I'm saying? Just like you go to the Super Bowl. You know there's only be one winner. Why you gonna give up? Why you? the third quarter. Hey, oh uh, man, I don't think I'm gonna win this one. <laughs> Let's just call it quits. Yeah. Let's just forfeit, you know, go ahead, give him the ring. Unless you end up being <laughs> Peyton Manning versus the Seahawks. Well, shit, <laughs> hey, even if um, it's the fourth quarter, you know what I'm saying? And they about to kick the field goal. It's, two, it's three seconds left. Yeah, all tied. Anybody about to kick the field goal, you just gonna give up? No, you might block it and run it back for a touchdown and win the game. Hence, Ravens versus the Browns. All right, that's that exactly happened. They blocked the they blocked the uh, kick that was gonna win them the game, and then the Ravens ran it back and they won the game. Or we can go to Thursday night, go to the Packers versus the Lions. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? You think Aaron Rodgers is just if he would have gave up, he could have just threw it. Straight to the uh, to the out of bounds, just threw it. You know what I'm saying? He pretty much just threw it, but he he didn't give up, man. He like, man, I'm about to throw this, and, and something's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? He could have just ran it and got tackled. There was a 61 yard uh, touchdown pass, meaning he would have had 61 yards to run. 
he ain't no running back. He ain't gonna be out there trucking people and drinking right. and all of that. So he threw it, man. All right. He didn't give up, man. He like, this is the only chance that I have left. He just had and faith that somebody was going to catch exactly. it. Exactly. Why? Hey, because they practice that play in practice. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing right now. We in practice, yep, yep. practicing the play. Yep. So that once, you know what I'm saying, we in that real life situation, when it's real in the field, you know what I'm saying, we know what to do. Get your scripture out. Just get your scripture. 33 and 6. Like the brother said, we, this is practice, all right? We're practicing for what's coming to America. What's coming? Race wars coming. Famine's coming, all right? Martial law is coming. Uh, uh, the economy crashing is coming, all right? Concentration camps is coming. And guess what? After all of that, nuclear uh, missiles is coming, man, all right? So while we in practice, guess what y'all doing? Y'all <laughs> y'all on the, uh, the treadmill eating a double Whopper. You know, y'all training, but y'all training in vain. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Walking on the treadmill. <laughs> Walking on it, dropping ketchup. You know what, what I'm a saying? With a diet coke, <laughs> a double whopper, <laughs> zero calorie. I got a diet coke. You know, that's what y'all doing. Y'all, y'all, y'all putting in the work, but not in sincerity. So y'all doing it in vain. I'm watching a no no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I <laughs> this is Isaiah chapter 33. <laughs> it's an inside joke. I mean, that's an inside joke. It's a joke. <laughs> Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Yep, yep. What, what wisdom? What knowledge? Of what? The scriptures, man. All right? Of the scriptures, man. This was given to us, man. So we can practice right now, man. <laughs> I'm not like Iverson, because this right here <laughs> is the actual game, pretty much, man. Right. You know, because this, hey, you you play how you practice, man. You play how you practice. I, at a point of time, I didn't I didn't play basketball, man. But everybody else was playing it, so I started playing it, and I I became known as a mid-range shooter because that's what I practice. All right. I, I practice inside shots and outside shots. So now I'm, I'm, I'm a double threat, man. And I play how I practice. If I'm bringing a ball up court, if you back up to the free throw line, I'm going to shoot a three. Or if I'm running and you're backing up, think I'm going to drive, I'm going to stop and hit a mid-range. Because that, that's how I practice. I practice mid-range shots and I practice uh, three-point shots, man. And also, you know what I'm saying, um, like you said, you play how you practice. You know, if uh, like if you're doing squats or if you're lifting weights, you know, you just, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to be explosive. But if you, bah, bah, you hit them, uh. you know what I'm saying? That's going to get you that, that explosion in your legs. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be jumping out the gym. Or if you, you no, you what you is, you're doing squats with just the bar. <laughs> just 45 pounds. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it goes back to the walking on the treadmill with the double whopper, you know? If you're not putting in work to get better, you're not going to get better. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, and that's a good analogy now. Now you take that 45-pound bar and add plates to it. And you add plates to it because you can continue to add plates because you're increasing your strength, man. All right? So then when it comes time, uh, game time, you ready. You know, you ready. You got the muscle memory now. You got, yeah, kind. You've been practicing it. Your, your, your body is used to reacting off of uh, a high amount of force being put towards your legs to jump up. Kind, yep. You know what I'm saying? So then you ain't been doing it like a days ago. If you practice like a days ago, you're going to play like a days ago. Yep. Like far as dunking, you can't just get the ball. You're like You really got to practice dunking, man. I highly doubt anybody just they first dunk, they just went up. You know what I'm saying? Cause like you gotta have the right uh, uh, coordination to do it, man. You know what I'm saying? Even 360s under the legs and all of that. You you look at the dunk contest. That's why you know some of the um, players in the dunk contest be showing them practicing the dunks that they're gonna do. You know what I'm saying? They don't just do it. You know, you're like like it's a technique to to jump it. Kind of like Car uh, Vince Carter just said, uh, "What I'm gonna do? I should probably put my arm in the rim." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> No, he practiced that, man. You got to put in work, man. You got to practice, man. 
and um, you know, so he brought up Vince Carter. He ran up hills backwards with ankle weights. <laughs> you know, and then you wonder why he's jumping out the gym and you can't touch the net. <laughs> Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times. And strength and salvation, the fear of the Lord is. That's like it. And strength and salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. And that, that the fear of the Lord is his treasure, man, something valuable, all right? So us right now, we're we're practicing. Alright, we reading the scriptures. Alright, we're we're upholding the scriptures. We practice in not sin. We practice in the fear of the Lord. Alright, we're practicing. So when these bad times come, alright, when martial law do come, or the chip come, we know not to take the chip. We got we know to have faith in the Lord, basically, man. Matter of fact, that's the main thing that we're practicing is faith. We come out here on faith, man. All right? You go to work. You, you, you pay your bills. All right? You know, you know you're going to get your check. But when we pay, I don't know. I mean, you know, certain people have faith or whatnot. But when I pay my bills, I just I get my check. Boom, I need this, this, and this. I need this for gas. I know I'm going to need this for gas. But sometimes, guess what? I just go down to zero dollars, man. All right? I, at a point of time, I wouldn't. But I go down to zero. Matter of fact, it was, uh, I didn't even have no money, all right? And I went to work one day, and this this, this guy wanted to bet me in pool, all right? I felt bad taking the guy money, but I felt like it was the Lord allowed me to come up, you know? I just went to work with a dollar, and then we started betting, and pretty much I left with $33, you know? I, I came up on $32, man, all playing pool, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like I, I uh... Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> I was just about to say it ain't like I, I baited him in, like, you know, I'm acting like I'm weak and stuff. He know my reputation, man. But he wanted to challenge. It just so happened that day the Lord put a spirit on him to just want to challenge me, man. And keep going at that. Hey, that pride to get you. Yeah. Pride go for destruction. You gotta get that lick back. You know? Go ahead. I'll read that again. Oh. Uh, 33. Oh, you dropped it? Oh yeah. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Okay. Go ahead, uh. Do we breeze through it? Uh, read the first, uh, the first uh, three and one, and then breeze through it. Okay. Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse one: To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep. And a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast sto cast away stones, and a time to gather stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to rend, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to keep, uh, and a time to. Uh, speak a yeah. time to love and a time to hate. Yeah, so 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 at the it's, end of the day, oh, yes, one more, go ahead. yeah, a time of, a time of war and a time of peace. Yeah, so at the end of the day, it's a time for everything, man. Like we like we was just going into the analogies. We're practicing right now, all right. We're putting in practice. So when this society does break down, we know what to do. All right, we know what to do. Uh, you know that scripture that bodily exercise a little. Because at, at, at the end of the day, what's going to happen is you're going to have martial law kicking indoors, rounding people up, putting them in concentration camps, all right? If you ain't never thought of that happening, you know what I'm saying? The only time you've seen it was on the movie, uh, what's that, uh, Siege with Denzel Washington in it. You know what I'm saying? Where pretty much they, they had 9-11 before 9-11 happened, man. That movie is 9-11 before it happened, all right? So you ain't never seen, only time you seen it was on a movie. Hey, man, you're going to be freaking out, man. You're going to be freaking out. You ain't going to know what to do, man. All right? You got it? Uh, no.
1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. For bodily exercise profit of uh, little. Yeah, doing push-ups, all right, uh, uh, lifting weights, jogging, all of that. That, that profit your body. Go ahead. <laughs> but godliness is profitable unto all things. Yeah, but godliness is profitable unto all things, all right? So now you got... You got the dietary laws. Basically, keep it being righteous, all right? You eating, you can eat right. That can help out with your mind, help out with your body pain, help out with the way you think, you know what I'm saying? Like like the brother I mentioned the other day, uh, decalcifying your pineal gland, man. Your shit all cloudy, you ain't gonna be thinking straight. You're just gonna be doing, all right? You know what I'm saying? But if you can think straight, you can act straight, man. Once the Lord allow you, of course, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It goes right back to that practice. You play how you practice, man. All right? Is more to that? Yeah. Having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. Yep, having promise of the life that now is and that which to come because we're looking for uh, towards the kingdom, man. That's why we practice, uh, uh, rehearse the righteous acts, man. All right? That's practice. We rehearse the righteous acts right now so, so we can get a chance uh, to get saved, man. All right, you ain't keeping the laws. You ain't, you ain't showing no faith or nothing. You ain't. The Lord ain't looking to save you, man. All right, you gotta put in work. You know what I'm saying? Man, this is like the brother was saying earlier. Jake, Jake, uh, maybe I doing all this wickedness and want all the benefits of the kingdom right now. You know, yeah. they they want all the good things. You know, that's like the brother said. You gotta put in work, man. Ain't nothing, nothing wrong. Nothing. It's like working out. Ain't nothing wrong with working out. Uh, but it, it's, it's vain. Just like ain't nothing wrong with getting money. But it's vain. Okay? You don't want to be going all out for it. You're trying to be on a Schwarzenegger and shit. You know, of, of the world. You know? Who was on a bunch of the. I think it was lifting weights. Uh, John Jones. No, it was like. They was doing that, uh, the strongest man. I think it big black motherfucker. I think it was, you was like the Olympics or something. And they was like, they was doing that little, uh, and they, uh, all of that. Yeah. And I was like, what, like, why would you even want to do that? Like, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah it's just, it's just to, to conquer something, but you, when you get, go all in like that, it, it's, it's profit of little, because, you know, unless you, like moving something and every every time you gotta find it because he'll be a highly valuable dude to pick something up and to put, put a couch upstairs <laughs> <laughs> he'd be highly valuable you know you know big screen tv you know he'd be highly valuable you know all day but it's vain and, and it profit little because it's useless you know as far as salvation you know you're gonna catch a nuke like that you know it's gonna <laughs> still explode on you you know so it's vain, like a lot of things in this is, in this life is vain, you know. In the book of Ecclesiastes, it tell you that, you know. But at the end of the day, it has a purpose. It's just don't consume it. You gotta get be out this world. Ain't nothing wrong with doing some curls. You gonna look good. Get your get your bitches and shit. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? But don't be like, yeah, I can't make it to camp today. I got it to gym flex up. You know, like you know, I got a competition. No, nah, man. You know or. Uh, you can't read because you you're working so hard. You know you're doing doubles all all the time. You know what I'm saying? That that it's, it's vain because if this America is gonna be destroyed, you know. This is Second Timothy chapter three verse twelve. Yea, and all yea, and all that will live godly and Hamashiach and Hamashai shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers so wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Yeah, yeah, cause now what it is is you have you you have certain men that have this word, all right, and that like I said, you you practice you play how you practice, man. So when it comes down to it, when societies break down, being that they have this word and they was joking about it and playing around with, especially the name, man, all right. So then when he, when it's time to call on the name, cause it said that the Lord's name is like a defense tower. All right. So when it comes time to uh, call on the name, being that you was practicing, when you was practicing, you was playing around talking about yo play yogurt. All right. Even now, just Christ, man. You talking about calling on Jesus Christ when it comes time 
uh, in, in, in the, the uh, when these prophecies come to pass, all right, when the society starts to break down, what you gonna do? You gonna call on Christ, man? All right, or even take it. You're gonna go for what you know. God, you yeah. Know? It, it goes back to the virgins with the oil. You know, those was uh, how many was it? Eight, or seven, or the ten, the lamps, the ten virgins with the lamps. Basically, y'all not training. They, they was training by finding stuff, and it's crazy. I was I was my coach today, and he was telling me, man. It's like when you when you fighting or you training, you on the heavy bag or you doing the mitts, you know, you don't just stand right here by the heavy bag and punch because you're not gonna fight like that. So you gotta, you know, train how you wanna fight so it can be a habit. Because guess what? The things that I do when I train is a habit when I fight. You know what I'm saying? Hands being down or, or you know, winging a punch or whatever is a habit I have, then that that is what happens when I'm on um, when I'm fighting. So, and it's hard to break that. In the midst of action, you know, uh-oh, you know I'm gonna bring this bitch to Ronda Rousey. Yeah, I just had to add it, cause I, you know, I know a brother gonna get on me and shit, but, um, she, you know, people are going out, but she's punching like this. You know, you're center line here, and you're not even breaking the center line. You're not even, you're not even doing none of that. You just punch it like this. And when Holly Holm was decking the right down the middle, okay, anybody that get punched like that don't want to get punched like that again. <laughs> Believe you me. But she, the, because she trained like that, she couldn't break the habit. She tried to move her head in the middle of the ring when nobody was around. And then she'd go back to doing what she habitually do. she move and then came back and start fighting like that. No, you got to move. You know, you got to... Do, but if you're not used to it and it's not a habit to use those uh, skill sets, you're not going to use them in a real comp competition. So basically, if you're out here not, re not reading scriptures, not keeping the commandments, it's not going to be a, a punk out the blue, now all of a sudden you just got it. Don't work like that. You're not even going to have a habit, man. You're going to be eating pork. Don't even know it. Like, you don't know be jerky as pork and shit. Like, you don't know. Like, you're just going to be smashing and shit. Yo, man, you know, I got to keep, then you got so much to learn about the scriptures, man. There's so much in the discipline, man. You got so much you got to know. Of course, if you don't know everything, then you can't be judged by it. Well, well you will be judged by it, but the most high have a certain amount of grace on you, you know. But if you don't know.